Hello, programming students. For Python, this is Mr. Mace again with our second edition of the Mission Python video series. Uh, this particular video will cover Chapter 1 and what you need to do in Chapter 1 to uh, complete the steps they want you to complete. Now, again, uh, programming students from my class, some of this material in Chapter 1 is going to be review, most of it. Uh, there is one new concept. Uh, it talks about tuples. We kind of briefly mentioned tuples in class, but we didn't really have to do much with tuples uh, in class, but you'll do a little bit with tuples here. So let's go ahead and get started. So again, I'm going to jump down to chapter one. And as I go through the video, I will um, pause the video and restart as I'm transitioning screens and again we're not going to look at every single page we're not going to read each page on the video hopefully you'll do that as you're going through it uh, but chapter one is titled your first spacewalk and it, let me go ahead and set it up with a quote at the top welcome to the space corps your mission is to build the first human outpost on mars for years the world's greatest scientists have been sending robots to study it up close soon you too will set foot on its dusty surface. So it sounds like we're going to Mars in this uh, space adventure. So let's see what they want us to do in chapter one. So again, you get kind of get an idea of what we're going to do down here at the bottom, uh, what concepts we're going to look at. So uh, we're going to use idle. This book also uses idle. We've used idle in the classroom. So I will go ahead and start idle, gives you directions there. So on my computer, I just hit Control Escape to bring up my uh, start menu, and then I'm just going to type in idle. Now, if you have more than one version of idle installed, please make sure you get 3.7 or higher. 3.7 or higher, I, I probably could install 64-bit, but the 32-bit will work just as well. So uh, now I have my shell, and uh, it talks about the shell on the next page of our book. And it talks about how you can display text. And down at the bottom of page 16, um, it gives you some ideas about the correct syntax for the print statement. Now, we've used the print statement, so I'm not going to do that with ours. But it does give you, in the book, these little training missions. So if you were brand new or if you wanted just to practice and see if you could remember, um, you could print out, you could do this instruction to output your name in the Python shell. And then the next little section talks about outputting and using numbers. And then it talks about, hey, well, the shell's good for single line commands like we've seen in the classroom. But we want to use the script mode to actually create a new Python file. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to my shell and create that Python file. So remember, that's file new. And there we are. So that's our Python file that we can use to actually create our script code. Uh, let me go up. So these little tips, pay attention to these tips again. We've talked about most of these in the classroom. Uh, so the first different thing that we're going to do uh, is create the star field. So the this will be our background image that we're going to use to uh, in our game. So we're going to see how to load an image in Python, and this is brand new brand new something that we haven't done before but we but the concepts are not new we're going to use a function and uh, some other uh, variables and so forth so uh, pay attention to this note uh, the author Sean McManus is going to use these little numbers next to sections of code as he talks about those sections of code in the paragraphs so in this particular listing we're going to create this listing right here and we're going to save that listing as listing1-1.py.py. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is um, bring up my editor and kind of move it around a little bit and type in what we have here. And again, make sure you have your editor screen. And so I'm just going to move it. There we go. All right. So let's put the comments again. You want to give uh, credit to Sean since this is his tutorial and uh, the website there. 
where people can get a hold of him if they wish. And notice that he is uh, in the United Kingdom. That's what the UK on the URL is for. And then we're going to put the second website for the publisher of the book, nostarch.com. All right, so the first thing we're doing is creating a couple of variables. Now notice uh, the, the width and the height are all caps, and we talked about this in the classroom. Remember that indicates that these two particular variables are going to be constants, that they will probably not change, that they probably will not change during the course of the program. So we're going to say width equals 800 and height equals 600. And then we got a couple variables for player X position and player Y position. Maybe this is a start position of our particular player. So it looks like we're going to start at 600 for the X. So we're about three fourths of the way to across the right of the screen. And then we're going to put player underscore Y equals 350. So we're not quite we're a little more than halfway down the screen. Then we're going to create a function. So remember functions in Python start with the keyword def and we're just going to create a simple function called draw. Okay so uh, in the draw function we've got a couple Python commands that we're going to use screen.blit and that requires a couple arguments. The first one is we're telling it that we're going to set images.backdrop And we're going to start it at the point zero, zero. And make sure you have zeros there. I think I did O's by mistake. So this, and I spelled screen incorrectly. So this here is a tuple in Python. So remember that a tuple is a data structure separated by commas. All the items are separated by commas, but they're enclosed in parentheses. So let's save that. And we're going to save it inside our mission Python folder that we created. <laughs> so we've get to the right place. Mission Python and we're just going to put it right here. So we're going to call this listing. And they want us to call it listing uh, one dash one. So we'll save that. Okay, so that's our code that they wanted us to create. And so now uh, he's going to explain how that works a little later. So we're going to do this uh, Python. We're going to run our listing program. And so remember, you have to do that in the command prompt. Uh, don't do it in the idle, even though you um, could, but we're not going to worry about it. So we go to, in my case, again, I have to use the Windows PowerShell. So I'm going to start the PowerShell and I have to make sure I'm in that folder. So I have that command already entered, so I'm in that folder, and so now I can just type in pgz python game zero, pi game zero, run, and then the name of it, listing, one dash one dot py. And if we did that successfully, now we have our star filled image on our game window screen. So check yours, make sure that works. And that's basically what you're doing in this. And then he goes through and explains that. And then to stop your program, you don't want to just close the window. So you don't want to just close this window. But what you do want to do is do like we did in idle to stop an execution early. We can do control C. And close it from there. Okay, um, let me make sure that it's closed in pile. 
So here is where the control C works. All right. So anyway, um, that is chapter one. Now the next uh, thing we're going to do, and I'm going to actually do that in a second video because uh, I only have about 15 minutes is we need to go in and we're going to add the planet and the spaceship to our image. So I'll do that in a second video.